It's a jam-packed week of updates for GeForce now. The 2.0.40 update is rolling out soon. Digital gift cards have gotten a refresh. GFN rewards return and we have 14 games arriving this week, including 7 brand new ones and the arrival of the hugely popular MMORPG Lost Ark. The newest update rolling out enables the GFN Mac OS app to natively support the Apple M1 chip. The update provides reduced power consumption, faster app startup and an overall elevated GFN experience on M1 based MacBooks, iMac and Mac Minis. More benefits are coming for members in the form of a new genre row at the bottom of the games menu. Useful sorting options include the ability to see all games available in specific regions and by device type and multiple filters can help narrow down the list. Finally, members can soon enjoy an improved streaming statistics overlay that now includes in-game FPS as you see from this screenshot. The overlay quickly toggles through standard, compact and off using the hotkey Control plus N. Once the update reaches us here at CGX, we can think about producing a video on the full extent of this update and show you these new features rather than just tell you. GeForce Now RTX 3080 memberships are now available as digital gift cards with 2, 3 and 6 month options. GeForce Now membership gift cards can be used to redeem an RTX 3080 membership or a priority membership depending on the recipient's preference. This week, those of you who are opted in for GFN rewards can receive the heroic edition of ArenaNet's critically acclaimed free to play massively multiplayer online role playing game Guild Wars 2. Each Heroic Edition reward unlocks the following items. The base Guild Wars 2 game, one suit of legacy armor, one 18 slot inventory expansion and four Heroic boosters. If you've not opted in for rewards, here's a quick reminder. Log into your Nvidia account and select the GeForce Now option from the header. Scroll down to rewards and click update reward settings and then check the box in the dialog window. June Space Wars is already streaming on GFN via Steam. This early access title is a 4x real-time strategy game from the developers of the critically acclaimed Northgard. Set in Frank Herbert's groundbreaking June universe, you must lead your faction in battle for control and dominance over the harsh desert planet of Arrakis. Hall Lamento was released yesterday on Steam and is an indie permadeath action RPG focusing on the dangerous quest of passing through the mysterious event tide hollow and rebuilding it step by step. Take control of limitless power in prehistoric kingdom to build, manage and grow the ultimate zoo for extinct animals. Released yesterday and is available via Steam and Epic. A cooperative grand strategy MMO from a team of veteran city builders, Romans Age of Caesar is the latest historical strategy game from Firefly Studios, released yesterday and is available via Steam. Sea of Craft is a sandbox ocean building game with realistic physics simulation. You can build your exclusive ship with hundreds of materials and explore intriguing stages on planet Bella as well as adventures of wonder in the great ocean. Set to release in early access on April 29th and will be available via Steam. Trigon Space Story sees you take command of your very own spaceship, carry out tactical battles, defend your vessel against space pirates and escape from enemy territory. On your voyages, you'll face a slew of tricky decisions in your quest to uncover the mystery of the galaxy. Releasing today and available via Steam. Our final new game released this week is Vampire the Masquerade Blood Hunt, a thrilling free-to-play battle royale game set in Prague consumed by a ruthless war between vampire clans. Use your supernatural powers, weapons and wit to hunt your rivals and dominate the night. Shark Mob has created a unique take on the battle royale genre with the use of the Vampire the Masquerade lore in this one. You can access this via Steam.
Conan Exiles is coming this week from the Epic Games Store. Fans of the game will be familiar with the Steam version and its varying issues in maintenance on GFN, so hopefully this version brings no such issues. Crawl is the local multiplayer dungeon crawler where your friends control the monsters. Battle through dungeons and power up your hero. If a friend kills you, they take your place and it's their turn to crawl. It's a race to gain enough XP and loot to take on the hulking final boss. Flashing Lights is an open world police, firefighting and EMS simulated game with plenty of opportunity for roleplay or more relaxed fun with friends. Don't adjust your sets, this is what games used to look like way back in 2008 when Galactic Civilizations 2 was first released. The Ultimate Edition joins the GFN library this week for some classic 4x turn-based strategy gameplay. Jupiter Hell is a turn-based shooter from the depths of cosmic hell, built on a classic roguelike framework updated with modern 3D graphics. Rip and tear zombies, demons and heavy metal monstrosities with chain guns and chainsaws, like chess with shotguns. Released to us in the West back in February this year, you would be forgiven for thinking Lost Art was set to take over the world, such was its popularity. Numbers have dwindled to a measly 400,000 concurrent players, give or take, down from the nearly 1 million who were playing at launch. If you dislike grinding games for hours, then Lost Art probably ain't for you, but as it's free to play, there is only one way to find out. Sol Cresta takes the docking and formation strategies of classic shooting games Moon Cresta and Terra Cresta and elevates them with the freeform docking system. Docking, splitting and reforming these ships as needed is the key to defeating the invading armies of Mega Zophar. An eventful week all round for GeForce Now members? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for tuning in and we'll be back soon with more great cloud gaming content.